you are welcome to another colorful episode on this channel we are in accra but we are going to takrade to bring you someone who is into cars he's a car guru called nana flint and uh, we are going a bit technical today to talk to you about your next road trip we are going to talk to you about how to get prepared for that road trip how to get prepared before joining another car for a road trip what else can you do with your cars to go on that road trip that you've been dreaming of so let's go to takade and bring you nana flint here we go so we are driving out of what's the name kingston kingston hotel, hotel. Yeah. and mr flint's face is always <laughs> <laughs> What's up there? Uh, swimming. Swimming? Yeah, so I'm going to say a swimming coach. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Swimming coach. Uh, okay. Apart from the car, I'm going to say a swimming coach. So, uh, <laughs> I'll train you one a of man of a obibesi, many talents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So today we are talking about cars, right? Yeah, talking about cars. Me, I don't know much about cars, but I think I'll enjoy this conversation. <laughs> so can you tell us more about yourself, aside you being a swimming coach? Um, so I'm Edmond Nana Flint, normally called Nana Flint. Okay. Um, grew up here in Takari, school, everything here. Okay. So I'm mean, into cars, car consultation, car sales, um, spare parts. I also organize events, so Taddy okay. Street Auto Show. Okay. We do drive tours, we do car exhibition, and anything related to, to cars. Ah, so, yeah. okay. okay. So you are the best man for this today's topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So since we are driving around Takradi, where are we now? We are at um, Apollo Junction. Apollo Junction. Yeah, All right. Junction. I wanted to buy plantages, but you let oh. <laughs> Okay. Um, if you are getting your... Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. which cars are good for road trips? And so road trips depends. It depends on where you are going. Okay. So mostly road trips, you go to remote areas, places you've not been before. We see most of these service sites here at, at the Inzuma part of town. Yes. So you need mostly a four-wheel drive or a car that has what you call ground clearance. Okay. So there's enough space between the the car and the and the road, oh, okay. so that for the bombs, for these um, portals, these muddy places, you know, that's good. Okay. Then you need the, you need um, for most most of in a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive is good. So that when you get to you know road conditions that are not so good, the car can push you through. Oh, okay. So you need the power and everything. For, so this this is a picanto. No, this is a Daewoo Matic. Matic. Yeah. So oh, this okay. is a saloon car, a two a two wheel drive, mostly four wheel drive. Oh. Okay. So, so. And this one is for chilling around yeah. like a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So basically, saloon cars like this, they are meant for turn right. Oh. Okay. So from where to house, house, you know, our our society, house to church. Oh, okay. Few rounds, market rounds, you know, okay. some social places. It's not meant for the long trips oh, okay. because the engine is smaller. You know, the car itself is is smaller. So, so mostly for around for shorter trips because the you know, engine is small and you conserve more fuel when you are doing such trips. So, oh, okay. so um, uh, the cars that you mentioned earlier, do you, do you have a routine that you advise people to? go through before they start their trips. Yeah. yeah. So first first and foremost, you need to know where you are going. Okay. okay you need to know where you are going. So let's so, see. Mm. I know this road going to Atum and Ko, the road is really rough. I don't know if they fix it. So mm. let's use that road as an example. Yes. So from from here to Agunan Kwanta is is not good to be frank. It's not that good. But from Aguna, I hope you know Atmenin. Where the girl factory is. It's on that way. On that way. Right? Unless you are going to Tapa. Yes. Okay. From that side to anywhere to a label, the road is very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So first of all, you need to know where you are going. You need to know the road conditions. That also determines the kind of vehicle you you know you drive. You drive to that place. Let's say if the road is good, very good. You don't mind driving this car to that place. Oh, okay. Because it should be okay. But let's say the road is rough. You need a car that's high up the ground with more power that can push you through. Okay. 
and um, yes, and again, the distance you are traveling to. So there's something we call, um, for every car, you have the full capacity of the car. Right. So for this car, one full tank cannot take you to Accra. That's why mostly those who do long distance travel, they have these pickups, like these big pickups. They come with bigger full tanks. So one wow. fill can drive all the way through. Sure. And the longer you drive, you know, you, you conserve more fuel on that. If you do shorter trips, okay. shorter trips, you waste more fuel than you're doing longer trips. Oh, okay. Because you need any you need to stop, start okay. again, you need to stop, start okay. again. But when you're on that longer trip, you just drive and you're good to go. Okay. So you need a car, you need to determine which car you, you go with. A bigger fuel tank to advise us. Okay. And also you need to know, you know, certain certain things on the road. So whether they are towns, they are hospitals, they are more public places, to determine how you drive. Oh, so you know there are a lot of towns on that road. You take down the speed, you slow down the speed. Yes, but if there are no towns on that stretch, you, know, you can go as fast as you can. So. I think um, when traveling across Ghana, mm -hmm. you mostly meet towns. Yeah, every, yeah, every, know, every, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere you everywhere, meet it. Everywhere. So if you don't know, you just have to take yes. care of it. Okay, now public transport and mm -hmm. traveling with your own car. <laughs> um, Which one? <laughs> okay, so for a group. Mm -hmm. Okay, but before 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 I come to that. Okay. You know, for the auto show, we do drive tour. So oh, drive tour, really? basically, what you do is, like, you pick your car. Every, everyone comes to see so your car. Mm -hmm. You drive to one destination. There's 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 a good feeling in that. So mm -hmm. that one, the feeling is different. The experience is different. different. Let's say traveling alone with a friend, with a group of friends, traveling in a, with your own car, it sometimes its own experience. You yes. can go to anywhere you want. You are not limited. For public transport, you are limited in a way. Even though you save money on fuel, you are limited in a way because they drop you here, mm. that's where you can go. Anywhere you need to go, you need to take another transport for wherever you are. So let's say you want to go to Axim. Mm -hmm. Once you get to Axim, you need to take now we have the Pradia or um, yellow, uh, yellow, 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 you know, yeah. to, to get to wherever you are, you want to go to. Yeah. But when you use your own car, yeah. you know, you can drive around, go to every corner you want to go to, on your own floor and on your own terms. And also one thing, you can stop and buy what you want. Yeah, <laughs> you can buy the plantain chips you want to buy. So... So, so we didn't see some that <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's another thing. So for the group, um, you can go to wherever you, you want to. And now you can plan well because you have your own car. Yes. You can plan well. So that's the advantage. But when you are going to public transport, you can save money on fuel. Because for public transport, you can pay, let's say, from here to Cape Coast, let's say 30 cities. Yes. You pay 30 cities. But when you get to Cape Coast, you need to take other you know, means of transport to where you want to go. Okay. So everyone has experience. Okay. So. Yes. So depending on how you want to experience Yes, it, how you want to experience the trip. So. But for a better feel. Pardon? Plantain. Oh, plantain. Plant at all. Do you have change? I didn't have change. Plantain. I don't know. It's almost green. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, yeah. So, for me, okay. for a better, a better experience, okay. going with your own car is, is the best. Mm. I, I want to do that going sometime. Oh, I've, I've been doing for for a while. It's, oh. it's nice. So, going with your own car. You play music, you have fun, you share jokes. Oh, nice. You're driving experience. You can experience the road for yourself. Exactly. Determine how fast or how slow. And most of it for road trips, it's not how fast to get there. It's the experience and how you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Not like how this car is going. It's the experience, you enjoy yeah. everything. You have then they want passengers. Yes, they want for us, you're not looking for passengers. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So tell me more about the auto show, auto street show. Auto show, it's just street auto show. Yes. 
I've been wanting to experience it, but every time I wouldn't be interpreted. Or yeah. we believe it. Or we are now coming then yeah. it's it. I know. Tell I've, me more. I've been fighting at all, at all about that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Besta is an annual event where everything is centered around cars. Oh, okay. So it started from just having uh, stunts, drift, and now we developed into drive to where we drive to one specific tourist destination. We learn about the place, we take pictures, you have group, dis group discussion and tour, then we drive back. Okay. So the first drive tour we did, we went to Bisabra Museum. Yes. Then we went to, there's a mini zoo at in Tankofo. Is it uh, mystery? Small. That there, there's a name. I don't, I don't know the actual name, but that we went there. Uh, yes. And that same year, we went to Axim. So we drove all the way to Axim in a convoy. That's what I heard that made me. <laughs> <laughs> it broke my heart. Oh. I was like, oh, how can I miss this? Yeah. I really love something like so that. So it was a beautiful experience. experience. And nice. last year, we went to Fort Orange. That's it, because of, there were a lot of restrictions. Oh, okay. And you know, the hike in four prizes was a big turn off. Mm. But so we had to do a town ride, we went to um, for the second day. So yeah. we learned something small about the king. So okay. this year's edition to is coming on. We mostly do it in December. December. Okay, December. so this December. Yeah, this December. December. Yeah, I have to come and sleep in time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to yeah, miss yeah, anything. Yeah. So put, put it on your calendar. So, I will, I will. <laughs> so this December is, is coming on. Okay. And as part as also part, we have castles and exhibition. Oh, so okay. For the first sales and exhibition, you had it for a day. We had Nissan, um, we had Stallion, we had other Tumaba brands to on board. Okay. Last year, we had Nissan, we had Stallion, we had the Tumu wow. we had the Amomo, plus other people. We have uh, Nationwide Technologies. Okay. They're dealing with four lubricants and other things. So okay. that's it. This year, too, the same thing, but it's going to be a different experience. Okay. So I want to, our experience is sure, 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 sure. Okay. Um there's this thing that we are not used to in Ghana. Mm -hmm. That is is it camping vans or having yeah. vehicles that are themed or let's say designed or for made camping. for camping yes. or road yeah. trip experience at the yes. Yes. Wow. yes, yes, yes. This place has changed. Yes. Now the water is not red. Yeah, you know, wow. it's clean. <laughs> it's so clean. Now it's clean. Aww. So Aww. most often we have off-road vehicles. Oh, okay. So they mostly come in a uh, big uh, four-wheel drive pickups. So uh, for example, we have the the Jeep Wrangler, we have the Ford Bronco, okay. we have the even a uh, Land Rover Defender, Aww. mostly for off-road for trips. Okay. Even a Toyota Land Cruiser. Can still use for the off road trips, so and they come with accessories for camping. Oh. So when you buy them, they have these accessories. It's just that these things are not that common here in Ghana. Ghana. Yes, so when you buy them, they come with accessories. The camp you can mount it on the car, you, can, you have things you can set your, set your equipment. You have even the car that, car that are solely designed for camping. So we find out that you just have the front passenger. Seats. If the rear seat can be converted to a bed, some some of them even a kitchen, yes. you know, a miniature kitchen. You can prepare your food. You can put all of them inside. Okay. And what they do is mostly they go in a group. Because yes. for camping, either in a group or it's not advisable to go alone. Oh yes. You know, in case yes. something happens to you, there can be someone to help. Okay. So they go in a group. Sometimes they go three days, four days. Some of them eight days round trip. So we can start from. Uh, here, we can do Cape Coast, we can do Accra, we do Eastern, we do Tamale. We drive all the way back to BA, then back to Takari in eight days. So, hey, you are familiar with the Oh. <laughs> so, have you been doing that? No. Driving? Um, personally, what I've done is been Western Oh, okay. For even now, it's, it's in the day. Okay. It's in the day. But they have plans to do the, the drive to. A customized one for a selected group for let's say a week. So we select this in December, we map up where you want to go, and then we do that for a week. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay
That was really interesting. Do you know Yaga? <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting. Okay, so Mr. Flynn. Yes. I think we are concluding now. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So if someone wants to contact you for more information on cars, driving, or on the Auto Street Show, where would they find you? Okay, so I'm on social media at Nana Flint. N A N A F L Y N T. Okay. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm more active on Twitter. Okay. I'm more active on Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay. And um, you can check out my blog to uh, nanaflint.blogspot.com. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you're a writer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I write. Hey. <laughs> I, I write as well. So I write, I organize the events, I do content. But yes, it's just that I'm not so active. Yeah, you swim. <laughs> And then, yeah, coach. <laughs> I'm, nice. I'm not so active on YouTube. YouTube is why I'm not so active. So I think this will encourage me to do more. Yeah, this is why I encourage me to do more. Oh, yes. More, more, more YouTube. So yes. you, you can be telling us about cars because yeah. someone like me. Yeah. 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 But I've learned a lot today. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you are looking for an affluent, these are his social media handles, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yes, sure. So this was really beautiful. And uh I like this. Like <laughs> we'll do another one sure, soon. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. So see ya. All right, see ya. <laughs>